What if Air India AI 171's Dreamliner was a falling nightmare because of a deadly secret concealed in a perfect flight? Investigators are still baffled by the disappearance of Air India Flight AI-171 on June 12, 2025, which occurred seconds after takeoff and defies all explanations. Let us find out. Chapter 1 – The Fatal Takeoff Air India Flight I-171, a state-of-the-art Boeing 787 Dreamliner, took off from Ahmedabad Airport early on June 12, 2025, with 242 passengers and crew members on a routine flight to London Gatwick. The weather was calm, and the skies were clear at the start of the day, which meant the trip would go smoothly, but the routine quickly devolved into horror. Only 35 seconds after takeoff, the pilot's frantic distress call, Mayday, Mayday, filled the cockpit with a sense of urgency. We are falling because the thrust was not reached. Rather than climbing towards cruise altitude, the plane struggled to reach 600 feet before crashing nose first into the ground. Ground level witnesses reported hearing an odd sputtering engine sound, followed by moments of nauseating silence before the aircraft collided with a nearby medical college dorm. The impact caused a huge explosion that sent debris flying over a large area and engulfed the crash site in flames. The destruction was so great that emergency personnel had to act quickly to get to survivors who were trapped in the wreckage. In all, 19 innocent bystanders on the ground and 241 passengers and crew perished. Families were broken, communities were devastated, and the tragedy rocked India's aviation industry and the world at large. In addition to becoming one of the deadliest air disasters in Indian history, the incident sparked an international investigation to determine how a cutting-edge aircraft could plummet from the sky in such a short, terrible moment. Chapter 2 First hints and odd information. Investigators carefully ruled out outside variables like weather disruptions or bird strikes, which frequently result in unexpected engine failures right from the start. Air traffic control confirmed that there were no unusual environmental events, and the weather was described as clear and calm with perfect visibility. According to maintenance records, the Boeing 787 was deemed airworthy just days prior after passing all standard inspections. Both veterans with thousands of flight hours, the pilots were renowned for their professionalism and protocol compliance. However, concerning information quickly surfaced. Shortly after takeoff, the plane was flying abnormally low for a jetliner, according to flight radar data and eyewitness footage, with its landing gear still deployed, a crucial configuration error because retracting gear is necessary necessary to increase speed and lift as much as possible. Additionally, the flaps, which are meant to help create lift during takeoff but typically retract after the initial ascent, seem to be positioned incorrectly or inconsistently. Aviation experts swiftly pointed out that the Dreamliner's sophisticated flight control systems and automated alarms should have alerted the crew to any misconfiguration well in advance, despite the initial indication that these anomalies might have been the result of pilot oversight or error. Additionally, voice recordings from the cockpit suggested that the pilots may have been fighting a rapidly developing emergency rather than merely ignoring warnings as they hinted at confusion and alarm. This presented concerning possibilities. A catastrophic mechanical failure that rendered standard procedures useless, or an abrupt and severe system malfunction that either overwhelmed or disabled the pilot's ability to respond. The plane's investigators were unable to determine what had gone wrong in the crucial seconds following takeoff due to the unexpected behavior and these contradicting hints. Chapter 3 More is shown by simulator tests. Air India was determined to learn the truth about the disastrous failure of flight AI-171, so they assigned their most experienced flight instructors and technical specialists to recreate the incident in a cutting-edge Boeing 787 full-flight simulator. The team meticulously simulated a wide range of possible scenarios using accurate flight data, aircraft weight, weather, and known mechanical parameters. These included flaps stuck at the wrong angles, combinations of flap and gear misconfigurations under different loads and fuel conditions, and the aircraft taking off with landing gear still deployed, which significantly increases drag. The pilot's emergency protocols and recovery strategies were also put to the test in each simulation. The simulator repeatedly produced the desired results. The aircraft stayed steady and under control. Able to climb safely despite the limitations placed on them, 
Investigators were perplexed by these findings because the quick loss of thrust and descent observed during the actual flight was not replicated by any known pilot error or common mechanical anomaly. The consistent results from the simulator ruled out common mechanical issues and simple human error as the primary causes, instead suggesting a potentially unprecedented technical failure. It is now suspected by experts that a sudden, potentially simultaneous failure of critical systems, like a catastrophic electrical or hydraulic failure, or a loss of power from both engines, may have disabled critical flight controls, making it impossible for the crew to respond. This information significantly changed the investigation's focus on intricate internal malfunctions in the aircraft's advanced systems, turning the tragedy from a straightforward mistake into a significant technological setback. Chapter 4 – Rat Deployment as an Emergency Clue The confirmation that the Ram Air Turbine RAT, deployed during the last terrifying moments of Flight AI-171's descent was one of the investigation's most important discoveries. When the aircraft loses all of its primary power sources, engines, hydraulic pressure and electrical power generators, the RAT emergency backup system is set up to automatically launch a small turbine into the airstream. The RAT creates a small but essential source of emergency power by spinning in the fast-moving airflow. Pilots have a last-ditch opportunity to stabilize the aircraft and carry out emergency procedures thanks to this emergency power, which maintains critical flight control systems, simple instrumentation and low hydraulic pressure. The RAT's activation is a serious indication. It indicates that the main systems of the aircraft had catastrophically failed, giving the crew very little control over the aircraft. Aviation experts now firmly believe that Flight AI-171 experienced a catastrophic collapse in the intricate network of hydraulic or electrical systems that control everything from thrust management to flight surface adjustments or an unprecedented dual engine failure. The aircraft's ability to sustain thrust, regulate its landing gear and flaps, and control vital flight surfaces like rudders and ailerons would have been immediately crippled by such a failure. The pilots would have faced an almost impossible battle against an aircraft that was essentially transformed into an unpowered glider with no means of safely maneuvering or regaining altitude, despite their considerable training and experience. The plane was exposed due to its incapacity to react, sealing its fate in a horrifyingly brief period. The severity of the malfunction is demonstrated by this emergency deployment, which also emphasizes the unfathomable strain and difficulties the crew faced while battling an unforgiving mechanical disaster. The activation of the RAT is a clear indication of the magnitude of the failure and the vulnerability of even the most sophisticated aircraft when vital systems fail. Chapter 5. The Search for the Truth Dedicated recovery teams braved hazardous conditions and challenging terrain in the weeks after the crash to recover the flight data recorder FDR, and cockpit voice recorder CVR. The aircraft's crucial black boxes that contain the final moments of Flight AI-171's tragic journey. These gadgets record important technical information, as well as the pilot's every sound and word, giving an unvarnished account of what happened in those horrifying last moments. Terabytes of data are currently being painstakingly examined by aviation investigators from Boeing, India and other international organisations. They are comparing engine thrust logs, control surface locations electrical system diagnostics and the crew's urgent communications, finding out whether there was a sudden dual engine failure or a cascading malfunction in the aircraft's intricate hydraulic system is the main goal of the investigation, or electrical systems resulted in the loss of important controls. An additional crucial line of investigation looks into the possibility that the catastrophe was caused by an uncommon but potentially disastrous software error in Dreamliner's advanced flight control systems. Experts are concluding that Flight AI-171 was not lost as a result of a single mechanical malfunction or human error, even though the official cause is still unknown. Rather, it seems that a catastrophic failure that outstripped the plane's sophisticated safety redundancies left the pilots with no other choice. Anticipated globally, the final report is expected to address outstanding issues and act as a springboard for comprehensive reforms, potentially altering maintenance guidelines, pilot education, aircraft design and regulatory supervision for Boeing Dreamliners and the larger aviation sector. This meticulous pursuit of the truth represents a shared hope among the bereaved families and the international community that the lessons learnt from this tragedy will permanently change air travel safety and avert similar tragedies in the future.
Although the truth about AI-171's crash is still unknown, each new piece of information leads us one step closer to discovering the sky's most sinister mysteries. Remember to like, subscribe, and keep checking back if you want to learn more startling aviation secrets.